this is Myra Elaine from the Buy and Space channel and today I'm doing a uh, double unboxing. I have my coffee. <laughs> I had plenty of coffee this morning in my mug from Rodney Bell. He has a dream channel and uh, usually once a weekend uh, I wake up with Rodney and watch his beautiful sunrises and then after that Dennis Love Lady comes on and I um, watch his sunrises but anyway I'm doing a double an enveloping and this one first one is from Triple J and she wrote thank you and put a thank you sticker on it this is the very first time I brought bought from Jen her channel name is Triple J And I purchased this one item. And I wonder what could be in here. Let me make sure there's nothing else in this envelope. There's not. I'll cut that envelope up later to shred the label. Here we go. Let's see what's... Oh, okay. Not quite there yet. She taped it up so it wouldn't fall out in shipping which is very smart. Thank you, Jennifer. Okay, so she didn't tape it all four. She just taped it two, which is all that's needed to keep it safe. <gasps> oh my goodness. What a gorgeous statement piece. Oh, and it's got like a sheen on the green stones. Oh, I love this. Absolutely gorgeous. Mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much, Jen. This will be loved. This is just perfect, and it's in the nick of time. Gonna be a gift for somebody. <laughs> now the double on looping reason is that uh, Jen appeared on Misty's channel, and Misty's is uh, from Misty's Treasure Chest channel, and so and then I know that she appeared on Jen's channel, and they have become an occasional duo on each other's channels, which is nice. If um, I was doing online auctions, I would love to do it that way because you could get stuff prepared. I know I feel sorry for sometimes for Misty because she's got to take and go run and get things sometimes when she's working alone. But when you have somebody there with you that you're trading off with, uh, you might look at it as losing a little bit of profit from... Uh, you know the time that the other person's on that you gain the time to organize everything so that way when you are um, ready to ship and bill out your records are going to be straighter uh, your presentation at the auction is going to be smoother I mean I mean Mrs. presentation is smooth but um, but you can have time to um, put things where they should go so here's my invoice from Misty it's very professional I'm not going to show it to you I'm just going to let you know that she includes that she puts a little thank you on it she puts a paid on it so that way Um, she keeps track of everything all in one invoice so anyway I went to two auctions and made purchases for Misty of 
but when I got the, um, and it was total of three items, and when I got the invoice from Misty, I said, you know, you only billed me for two of those items. Now this is a wonderful gold flat necklace. Very smooth. I don't know if it has, if, if it's like 10 or 14 karat, but I've worn these um, necklaces before that have this, oh, well, almost said texture. And they feel so good when you wear them. And there's a very boxy lobster claw. Very nice. But, uh, no marking, as she said in the auction. A bit of marking. The price would have gone up triple, and I don't think that's any better necklace than it would have been if I had a marking. It's, you know, one of those things. It's something I plan on wearing myself. Now, this is a, uh, these are really, really dark green. They feel a little cool, but I don't think they're natural at all. Let's see if you can tell the green in them. Because you, when you originally look at them, they look black. Let's see how long this is. Yes, I can put this over my head, which is wonderful. I don't have to bother with the clasp, but the clasp is nice. Easy to use clasp. And a beautiful, beautiful necklace. So I uh, ordered these two necklaces on the last auction she had before, uh, that I attended before she bailed out. And she didn't bill me out for the owl. Whoops. I said that before the reveal. But you don't know what kind of owls they are. If you watch Misty, you might be able to guess what kind of owls they are because she's had a run of a certain type of item lately. She, um, I don't know, she went to a yard sale and bought out a collection of these types of items, but they have been everywhere on her channel. And now I'm noticing other people offering them. When I was a little girl, there was this lady who had this big cabinet full of these items and I remember I was really little I mean I was like I wasn't my eyes weren't even level with the shelf the first shelf that these uh, items were on she's like don't touch and they made me keep my hands behind my back the entire time if I would go look at them and I couldn't really see them all because I was so short I was really tempted to move them I never ever ever touched any of them or even the glass looking around at these items on her shelf she had hundreds of these things they had traveled their um their granddaughter's name is changes i'm not sure if their name was changes or not and i talked to her their granddaughter last year and she said her cousin ended up with all the collection but these are Owl salt and pepper shakers. And anyway, I emailed Misty and I said, You didn't bill me for those owl salt and shakers, pepper shakers. And she did get mad. She didn't get, into, get into defensive. She's probably really happy that, you know, I'm an honest customer that would tell her. And you know what Misty said to me? She said, they're free. Just keep them. Who does that? How wonderful is that? What a loving, giving person. And that's one of the reasons I do business with Misty. Is I go into her chat room, I feel welcome. Because you know anymore, if I go in a chat room and I'm not welcomed and I don't treat with respect by anybody. If you've got a moderator that is just avoid saying hello to me or doesn't treat me fairly as just like the other customers if there's an air of favoritism I leave 
just absolutely won't tolerate it. Yeah, I don't, I don't, not saying I won't go back and try again, but if I go back and try again and somebody's there, you know, even like if there's two people at the auction, like Jennifer and Misty, and let's say even a third person, and one of those panelists doesn't speak to me, doesn't treat me with respect, I'm gone. I'm not buying from anybody. Um, so be careful who you partner with. Now, Misty and Jennifer, they're a wonderful pair. They're both very nice and sweet and giving and loving, and they wouldn't let anybody in their chat room be harassed. And they make sure that everybody's welcomed and everybody's treated equally, like it should be. So I highly recommend Triple J, Jennifer, and Misty's Treasure Chest, Misty to be places that you will be safe um, from um, even unfriendliness. <laughs> and uh, we know that unfriendliness is not the worst of what's out there. But, you know, you got to have friendliness or respect, especially when you're doing, you know, one-on-one -on -one online auction sales. It's imperative. Who? Who are your customers? <laughs> Anyway, I'm having too much fun with these little owls. But these will go directly to Jessica. And uh, thank you so much, Jennifer and Misty. You're quite the pair.